Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Airit Academy. Today we will be discussing the question Hafi or what? So yesterday we were supposed to discuss this question but we couldn't take it because of paucity of time. So let's discuss first about the Hafi then we'll see other related information. Hafi are A produced by yeast, B thin threads formed by many fungi, C reproductive cells, D responsible for preventing the cell from losing water in wet conditions. So the answer is fungi. Let me tell you that this information is given directly in the NCRT when we read about the structure of fungus, then we read about healthy also. And also when we are reading the newspaper in day-to-day -day life related in for current affairs, then also we come across this word hyphae. Okay, so uh, what is hyphae? They look like this. They are thin threads which are formed by fungi. When we say fungi, what is fungi? Fungi can be single celled or very complex multicellular organisms. Okay. They are found not in just, uh, let's say water, soil, they are found almost everywhere, but mostly they live on land, mainly in the soil or on plant material rather than in sea or fresh water. However, we can find them there as well. A group called decomposers, they grow in the soil or on dead plant material uh, the microorganisms which feed on dead plant material are known as saprophytes. So these group of decomposers, they play a very important role in the recycling of the nutrients in the, let's say it can be carbon cycle or the uh, nitrogen cycle. So for our common understanding, let's have a look. So in day-to-day -day life, we read about mushroom or we eat mushroom. So mushrooms are what? Mushrooms are fungus. They are fungi. They are the advanced members of fungi group belonging to a specific class and the solid nodules which you can see as a cap uh, on the screen. These caps are not uh, are basically the terminal end of their hyphae that act as their reproductive organs which can be seen at the top of the mushroom in yellow color. So as you can see the stem area the, the hyphae has been highlighted so these hyphae, the thread-like structure, you can find them in, we find them in stem also, we find them in the cap area also. And the underground also, the hyphae, the underground hyphae are spaced out, they are more spaced out. So mushroom in day-to-day -day life are the, they belong to fungi group. They grow on the dead and decaying material like dung, uh, old rotten logs, where uh, rich organic material will be found. Therefore, they are saprophytic fungus because they are feeding on the dead organisms. Okay, some are parasites of plants as well causing diseases. So in day to day life when we are reading newspaper then we come across such news. Let's have a look. Like new way to stop a spread of rice blast disease has been found. So when we read this news, this is from the Hindu article, we come across this information. A rice blast threatens global food security, destroying enough rice each year to feed 60 million people. So this rice blast is basically an attack of fungi on the rice. So it is affecting our food security. How, how it is affecting? It is spreads within rice plant by invasive hyphae that is branching filament that is thread like a structure which we have seen on the first slide which break through from cell to cell. So this news, if we would have read, then we would have got to know about hyphae. And this is how rice blast is being attack, attacked by fungi and specifically by hyphae and it is causing harm to the rice. Okay. So in crops, fungal diseases can lead to significant monetary loss for the farmer, for the food security and very small number of fungi can cause animal disease as well. However, we have seen that these fungal attack or fungal diseases are also found in humans. They are affecting humans also. Okay, another news can be like this. You must have come across this. Do mushrooms use language to talk to each other? A fungi expert investigates. So they have found that yes. The, uh, please read the area highlighted by blue color. Despite lacking a nervous system, fungi seem to transmit information. How? Using electrical impulses across thread-like filaments called hyphae. So this was also uh, from the Hindu business line that uh, this news was on uh, 15th April 2022. So we come across such news in current affairs, in uh, NCRTs. Now let's have a look. 
we have also come across a fungus plastic eating fungus which was dis- which has been discovered in pakistan so scientists have discovered a natural method to degrade plastic so this was in news a uh, few years back also and this was in news in 2022 also that a specific category of fungus has been found that can break a non biodegradable plastic in weeks by secreting enzymes that pull apart individual molecules so yes there are certain fungus which are helpful the fun, uh, fungi group which are helpful for the humans uh, especially from the environment point of view but there are certain group which are harmful also let's see so the specific uh, if let's say if you come across uh, this information aspergillus tuben genesis what is it so it is a fungus which is responsible for a uh, decomposition of plastic so uh, remember this name sometimes upsc might give this information in the examination as a as option and they will try to confuse you what is it so it is a fungus which is plastic eating okay and that it was found in pakistan now let's have a look at the different information related to human so during covid times during covid times we have come across this information that black fungus infection or mucormycosis disease this was in news what is mucormycosis so it was a serious disease it was rare fungal infection and it became fatal especially when people during covid times were struggling with their immunity okay and it was caused by a group of molds called mucormycetes and it often attacks the sinus area the lungs skin and the brain okay especially the people whose immunity system was compromised and they, uh, their ability to fight back the environmental pathogens was reduced black fungus was affecting them not only that even we have come across black fungus white fungus yellow fungus green fungus infection so these were the type of fungal infections which were in news during covid times so very recently we have seen that how fungus uh, especially these colorful fungus they are affecting humans they are uh, basically compromising our health so yellow fungus it was related to overuse of steroids white fungus it was related to uh, with respect to the people who were having low immunity and they were living in unsanitary conditions they were catching uh, white fungus okay uh, green fungus was more or less related to the indoor activities indoor you we find green fungus so it was caused by aspergillus as uh, on the previous slide we have seen the plastic eating bacteria so that family that category not only this we have also come across athlete's food athlete's food is also known as tinea pedis so it is also a kind of fungal disease which will affect our foot region foot area and uh, it it is a fungal infection not only that a common fungal infection which we come across is a ringworm so ringworm is also known as a fungal sp- infection of the skin okay so in day to day life the fungus is uh, the fungus is infecting the plants it is infecting humans it is uh, it is found commonly in the environment so thus it is most prevalent now why are we discussing uh, this information in detail is because upsc has a unique club it has a unique affection towards the microorganisms like they have been asking microorganisms like anything with respect to bacteria they have been asking Uh, the nitrogen fixing fixing bacteria they are found where in which plants you can find them what are the different names so they have been giving options so if you have read ncrts be it the science ncrt or the geography ncrt where you would have read about the nitrogen fixing bacteria then you can easily reach the answer so the bacteria have been in news because of nitrogen fixation they have been in news because of the multi drug resistance which is increasing so bacteria is a common and upsc has been asking also with respect to protozoa let's say amoeba it is a commonly uh, uh, read protozoa and it is a type of cell or unicellular organism which has the ability to alter its shape primarily by extending and uh, retracting the uh, filaments which you can see okay so it has a shape a structure which can uh, change its uh, 
structure itself. So it has that ability. Then we, we have discussed about fungi. So fungi, uh, it is affecting humans, it is affecting plants, it is affecting uh, in day-to-day -day life. It is now we have found that plastic eating uh, fungus uh, can be also found. Even uh, the, in the question, the first option was yeast. So yeast is also uh, under the family of fungus only. So we used yeast, uh, baking soda or yeast we use in day-to-day -day life in our kitchen. What is the purpose? So they fall under, they come under the group of, in the family of fungus. The idea is when we use yeast and we prepare the dough, uh, then they feed on the sugar or the glucose element of the dough, uh, the mineral, uh, the cereal, which we are going, which we use. And by feeding on that sugar component, the glucose component, they, uh, they uh, uh, produce carbon dioxide. And because of that carbon dioxide, be it bread or our dove, it becomes very soft. It will become very soft. And that's why we used yeast. Okay, so fungus we have read and discussed. Algae is the new area and it is in news and uh, we have been reading about it. I will discuss few of the informations related to algae. So those information will help you in understanding what all you should know about algae. Virus in detail, we have seen already the genetic components, the uh, role of virus in making the vaccines or the COVID virus, what is the name of the coronavirus. So we have read, we have discussed in detail about this virus as a microorganism in one of the video. Hope you know about it. And if you, if you don't know, please go check the playlist and revise it. It will help you a lot. Now let's discuss about algae. Okay, so algae, they exist in environments ranging from ocean, rivers, lakes, ponds, brackish waters, even in stone. Yes. Algae are usually green, but they can be found in variety of different colors. Okay. So they are living in snow also. Algae are photosynthetic organisms and they can be either unicellular or multicellular. They lack well-defined body. So the structure can be like roots or the stems or leaves. Such kind of things are absent in that. So these are structures like roots, stems and leaves, they are absent in them these uh, microorganisms. That's why they don't have a well-defined body. Algae are found where there is adequate moisture. Okay, so let's understand about algae. So algae have been in news because as you can see the news on the screen, India can be world leader in algal farming, says the US expert. So microalgae, they are responsible for the green color of pond, lake water, and they can be used as the as a biodiesel. So already algae farming is going on in many parts of the country, but in Punjab, especially we are doing algal farming. As you can see on the screen, the lady who is preparing algae. So it is algal farming. So algae farming is being done because it is a, it has a potential use as a resource for biodiesel. Okay. Not only that, new species of red algae seen in West Southeast Indian coast. So why? Because it has a good prospect for their cultivation, which can be put to good use economically, especially the these two species, species which you can see on the screen. They are the species of seaweed. So seaweed has a potential for food security. OK, so that's why we see algae as a potential source for uh, the biodiesels for uh, uh, as a seaweed. They are very important for food security also. But it's not that always we read about algae in positive sense. Algae, as you can see on this screen, this is known as algal bloom. Algal bloom refers like to, we refer algal bloom as a film on water surface and it is it reduces the water clarity and oxygen content. So these algal bloom, as you can see on the screen, it will, it, you would have come across this information in news. You would have read in your basic concepts of environment. So algal bloom poses threat to Kabini River ecosystem. So this was in news on 18th April 2022 itself. You must have come across news like this: a deadly bloom in Muttu Kadi estuary. So Muttu Kadu estuary, it is algal bloom is creating threat. Not only that, algal bloom affects coral reef ecosystem in Gulf of Mannar. So why it is causing problem. Climate change is being reported as one of the prime reasons for such algal bloom. But 
there are other reasons as well. So you a quick brush up. So you must, must have read about eutrophication because of increasing agriculture activity because of pollution, uh, the nutrient overload is happening in the water bodies. And because of this nutrients overload, eutrophication is happening. And this eutrophication is causing algal bloom. Because of this algal bloom, what is happening? Oxygen content, oxygen depletion is happening. They are, uh, they are reducing the water clarity and they are spread on the water surface like a film. Okay, so because of this film, oxygen depletion is happening. And these algae, they produce hepatotoxins. So hepatotoxins, they are called as microcystin. And these are also responsible the, when they are produced by the algae in high concentration, they can be fatal to fishes, humans, birds and other aquatic microorganisms. That's why they are a threat. They are threat to the water body, to the ecosystem. Overall, you can see. So this is the reason that why algal bloom is not healthy. Also, one another, another information which I want to give you is that you must have come across this world blue green algae we read it in current affairs we read it in our ncrt so blue green algae they commonly uh, we can say that they are category of algae but uh, the blue green algae they are prokaryotes they are not currently included under the algae family so basically this blue green, blue green algae they are also called as cyanobacteria and these organisms live in most moist or aquatic environments just like other algae okay so don't get confused it is just that these cyanobacteria they are capable of photosynthesis process okay and they are they play very significant role to the environment as they play important role in nitrogen fixation in the soil so that's why we read about blue green algae as a cyanobacteria and they play important role ecologically some of these species of blue green algae they play significant role in nitrogen fixation so this is all about microorganisms which i wanted to tell you this question was asked by upsc about hyphae in uh, somewhere in on 4th april in nda or cds it has been asked uh, 4th or 10th april so it was a recent information however we come across this word on day to day basis but we tend to ignore such information okay so hope it was a quick revision of microorganisms on the same lines you prepare a list of disease created by the microorganisms uh, like bacteria, protozoa, uh, fungus, as we have discussed already when I was telling you about the, uh, about the, during the COVID lecture, I have already told you that how should you prepare. Okay. So hope you enjoyed the discussion and hope it was enriching for you all. And uh, this is it for today. We'll meet with the next video on uh, Monday. Till then, take care, revise very well. Don't leave any aspect of your preparation, don't ignore CSAT, don't ignore current affairs, don't ignore practicing questions. Okay. So guys, take care and bye-bye.